I love latkes, says All Recipes member Leslie, who describes this recipe as simply mouth-watering. Hot or cold, these vegetable and feta latkes are great, says Leslie, adding, of course, any recipe that makes use of zucchini is number one in my recipe book. First, we'll need to grate enough zucchini to make two and a half cups. You can do this in a food processor or use a box-style grater. And enough carrots to make one cup. Place the zucchini and the carrots in a colander over a bowl. Next, shred enough peeled potatoes to make one cup. Add them to the colander. Cover them with a cheesecloth or with paper towels and squeeze out as much moisture as possible. Sprinkle half a teaspoon of salt over the vegetables to draw out the extra moisture. Let them drain for 15 minutes. Cover the vegetables a second time and squeeze them again. This will make for crispier latkes. Now, beat three eggs lightly with a fork. Add the drained vegetables to a mixing bowl. Add the eggs. And season with salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Mix everything together to combine. Then add three quarters of a cup of matzo meal or three quarters of a cup of flour, half a cup of chopped fresh parsley, and half a cup of crumbled feta cheese. Stir until well combined. Next, place a large frying pan over a medium-high heat and add a quarter cup of vegetable oil. While the oil is heating, form the latka mixture into pancake-sized cakes. Carefully lower them into the hot oil. Fry the latkes in batches until golden brown for two to three minutes per side. Remove the latkes to a paper towel lined plate and continue cooking the latkes, adding more oil as needed until all the batter is used. Serve the latkes hot and, if you like, top each serving with a spoonful of sour cream and a sprinkle of chopped parsley. All Recipes member Bob Zeal, who calls these vegetable and feta latkes incredible, says she served the latkes for lunch with a black bean and corn salad from the site, and they complemented each other very nicely.